Hi, this is Eric Smith. Time to do another quick look video, and I thought I would do it from Hosea, chapter 3, verse 1, and the Word of God reads this way. Then the Lord said to me, Go again, love a woman who is loved by a lover, and is committing adultery, just like the love of the Lord for the children of Israel, who look to other gods and love the raisin cakes of the pagans. If you're familiar with the book of Hosea, you know that the prophet Hosea was commanded by God to literally marry a harlot. Now, whether the woman was a harlot, uh, was a harlot before they got married or after, Hosea was told to marry this woman, and her name was Gomer. She was unfaithful to Hosea. Hosea was a prophet of God, and he was prophesying to the nation of Israel during a really good times. So they were really doing well, and they were prosperous, but Hosea was warning them that they were kind of leaving their first love. And that's what this book is really about. In this chapter, in this verse, we see a connection between idolatry and sexual immorality. In fact, throughout Scripture, you will always see a connection with sexual immorality and idolatry. In fact, whenever you read in the Old Testament, um, you can go to, if I'm not mistaken, Ezekiel and see this language where the nation of Israel, when they were going after other gods, they were called you know, harlots, um, adulterers, they were called all type of names. And you see a similar language in, I believe it's uh, James uh, chapter 4, where it, um, people that are chasing after the world are called adulterers and adulteresses. So you see this connection. In this verse, you're really going to see uh, you know, the parallels to it. The verse begins, Then the Lord said to me, so the Lord saying to the prophet, Go again, love a woman who is loved by a lover and is committing adultery. So he's telling Hosea, Go again and love this woman. You're already married to her. She left you. She committed adultery, but love her anyway, even though she is loved by a lover. She's actually committing adultery, and that's what it says in this verse. She's literally cheating on Hosea. Just like, catch it? Just like the love of the Lord for the children of Israel. So God is connecting Hosea going back to Gomer and loving her, though she's unfaithful, connecting it to the unfaithfulness of the nation of Israel to the Lord. Just like the Lord loves unfaithful Israel, Hosea is to love Gomer the same way. In fact, if you read further in uh, chapter 3, you're going to find out that Hosea bought back Gomer. Just like is, uh, God buys back Israel. The end of the verse says something interesting. It says, Who look to other gods, this is the, the children of Israel, and love the raisin cakes of the pagans. Now we understand when it says, Who look to other gods. We're understanding that that's idolatry. We're understanding that the children of Israel was leaving the true and living God or turning away to go after false gods, idols, and things like that. But it says, and love the raisin cakes of the pagans. Now what does that mean, the raisin cakes? Well, if you go back to 2 Samuel chapter 6, you'll see King David brought the ark back to Jerusalem. And he had a, celebra he had a celebration. And he was giving offerings. And in verse 19, he ended up feeding people, and one of the things he fed them was raisin cakes. Raisin cakes being fed is part of a religious ceremony. It says they loved the raisin cakes of the pagans. So they wanted to be fed the raisin cakes of the pagan gods. And you can see that raisin cakes were actually a kind of an aphrodisiac. If you read Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 5, you'll see it's part of the food that um, the lover in Solomon, which is actually Solomon, I truly believe that, was giving to his love. This is so interesting that sexual immorality is always connected to idolatry. Unfaithfulness is always connected to idolatry. But notice, just like the Lord was going to buy back Israel, 
Hosea was going to buy back Gomer. Dear Christian, let's understand something. Our God is a loving God. If we go astray and start chasing after other things, the Lord is always going to pursue us and bring us back. He will always do that because He's a loving God. He's never going to leave or forsake us, though we feel like we can leave and forsake Him. And many times, we expect things from God that's just ridiculous because God provides everything, and so we think we're going to find it in a false God. And today, we can think that we can find um, solace in things that are false. We can make our money, our cars, other people, I idols. They could, it could be idolatry. Not just the idolatry we see in the Old Testament. But just like Hosea was going to buy back Gomer because she was unfaithful and God bought back Israel because they were unfaithful. When we're unfaithful, we can count on a faithful God always to bring us back because he loves us that much. So this is Hosea chapter 3 verse 1. I just wanted to do a quick look to truly remind you, Christian, that you've been bought with a price. You're the bride, and Christ is the bridegroom. You don't need to cheat on the bridegroom with something that's inferior. Gomer was, an, was committing adultery. The nation of Israel was committing spiritual adultery. Today, we want to be careful not to do that against a loving Savior, a loving God, who has bought us with a price, who has redeemed us with his precious blood. As always, if the videos on this channel have encouraged your Christian walk and edified you in any way whatsoever, but you have not subscribed to my channel yet and you want to, hit the button. If you want to leave any comments, please do so, but please don't be snarky. Please do not be profane. We want to be Christ-like in everything we say and do as Christians. And until we do another quick look, there is nothing more wonderful than the love of God. Nothing can separate us from that love. You read that at the end of Romans 8. But sometimes we're unfaithful. Sometimes we want to turn from our first love and go to what? Someone inferior. Anyone who commits adultery against a good spouse doesn't understand how good that spouse is. It just shows that we're being wicked in our hearts. And just like someone may commit adultery, you can commit spiritual adultery when you turn from the true and living God. But praise God that Jesus Christ loves us so much. That if we run away, he brings us back. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And God bless.